Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with the juice to get you through the long night. And like the long night is over, guys. We have literal weeks. The official House of the Dragon trailer came out and we are about to go over it. And I'm going to break down all the clues and Easter eggs. So get your popcorn, baby, because I got the juice. So first of all, can we just acknowledge the fact, like this is a fact, can we just acknowledge it, that HBO is the GOAT. Like with this trailer, I feel like they're saying, we hold the belt when it comes to this TV shit and it's gonna be a cold day in hell before we come up off of it. Like I feel like that's what they said with this trailer. This trailer was fire the first shot we get is of dragonstone it's the smoking rock dragon mont we have dragon on the wall we have a dragon flying over it's all smoky like i'm loving the vibe i'm loving the vibe the scene is definitely a part of like a confrontation that's gonna go down at dragonstone between damon and sir otto Basically, Damon Big Zaddy Targaryen has cheated on his wife in the veil and got his mistress pregnant. His mistress is Masaria. Um, she's from the East. She's like a witch. You know, the girl in the white dress. Um, they call her the White Worm. Anyway, she's like Damon's advisor. Like, she's always by his side. She's fucking him, of course. But she gets pregnant. And the Targaryens, you know, they do this thing where they give a dragon egg to their child, their children when they're born. So Damon's like, you know what? I'm going to give this dragon egg to my unborn child. And Viserys is like, what? A dragon egg? Like, fuck out of here. Like, you're getting above yourself. So basically, what I think's going on here, it doesn't happen in the books that we know of. Like, we don't have an account of it. But basically... Viserys is like go get my brother and tell him he's tripping basically I think Viserys has sent Sir Otto to go retrieve the dragon egg from Damon and all of these stills look like there's gonna be some kind of standoff because of that and I live for it because like to be honest if Damon just kills Sir Otto right here we wouldn't even have a show. The next still is Damon Targaryen in his gold cloak days. And I was super excited when I found out they were gonna be covering the Rogue Prince because Damon's Targaryen's gold cloak days were like, yeah, I'm dying to see that. And I mean, like Damon is the one that brought the gold cloaks up. Like they were a goof troop wearing mixed match armor, dull knives and morning stars with no fucking spikes on them. But Damon haters don't never wanna talk about that though they always want to talk about all the bad shit that he does so i'm glad that they're actually going to show him leading the gold cloaks and all of that stuff anyway this shot is also an extension of you know damon stealing the dragon egg for his bastard so we got fighting and dragons and it looks like we are officially back in westeros we have a shot of rhaenyra going into the throne room with damon sitting on the throne and due to the lighting and the parallels rhaenyra has with daenerys i actually question if this is a dream that she's dreaming and then also, like, right after that, we have King Viserys talking over, like, some stills, and he's talking about a dream, a dream that he has. Viserys says, The dream, it was clearer than memory, and I heard the sound of thundering hooves, splintering shields, ringing swords, and I placed my heir on the Iron Throne. And all the dragons roared. At first, I was like, oh, is that Damon? But when I watched it with the captions on, it says it was Viserys. Now, I personally found this really interesting, one of the most interesting things in the whole trailer, but um, I'm gonna do a whole video on it because it's, it'll be too much for this video, but the TLDR version is basically that the Three-Eyed Raven or the Three-Eyed Crow, whatever, has been trying to kill off the dragons for years uh, it just is what it is and more evidence supports that but anyway so we have a shot of damon going up against christian cole horses running through the woods we have a shot of what looks to me like rhaenyra and christian cole in some cave and we do see later that it is them in the cave it looks like his armor is on the floor and he's in his britches he's in his panties <laughs> and he wants the water dance with Rhaenyra. Like the relationship between Rhaenyra and Christian Cole is the relationship that I really can't wait to see unfold because we really don't know what happened there, like what happened between them, how they go from being so close to hating each other. 
Like, we really don't know what happened. Like, there are so many different stories. But I know with this show, the tea is going to be hot. And I cannot wait. Anyway, we have a shot of Viserys on the throne. The dragon flying over King's Landing. And I think y'all are right. This is Cyrax and not Caraxes. It's hard to tell these dragons apart. But anyway, boom. That's a money shot. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's the dragon pit the dome top dragon pit where the dragons of old were kept it's very much true to the source material we also get a shot of king's landing and it's a very different king's landing than we're used to but i'm loving the attention to detail like the little dragons on the statue letting everybody know yes targaryens are on the throne as it should be um anyway we get a shot of like this little ball thing and I see, keep seeing it coming up in the pictures, like, when they're at the council and shit. So, I don't know what it is. Do y'all know what it is? Because I don't know what it is. Maybe it keeps time or something. I don't know. We have Sir Otto Viserys, Lionel Strong, Corliss Valerian, and Rhaenyra is actually there. And she is pouring for her father. She is the cupbearer because, basically, Viserys is grooming her to rule. This is what royalty did. I guess back in the day. Anyway, so Sir Otto, of course, he is bringing up the secession because he's so afraid Damon will take the throne. And Sir Otto should be afraid that Damon would take the throne, but not because like the realm's gonna bleed and die. No, because you will probably die. That's why you're so pressed that he doesn't take the throne, but you cut your nose off to spite your face. Watch my complete video on Damon because I broke it all the way down. Next, we see attorney in King's Landing. It's right in front of the dragon pit. And look at that armor. Look at Damon Targaryen's our HBO A plan with y'all. They come into Snatch wigs. I'm like, look at it. Look at it. It speaks for itself. So we also have young Rhaenyra looking flawless. Young Rhaenyra and her man's Lanor Valerion. Lanor Valerion and Rhaenyra will marry. Lanor is the son of Rhaenys and Corlys. He also is a dragon rider. Like, let's go another shot of go cloak damon and corliss speaking for damon at a council meeting we also have a shot of the gold cloaks cheering on damon viserys stating that he does not want to choose between his brother and his daughter and this is why this story is so sad because all of this would have been preventable had sir otto just shut the fuck up or if viserys just had a spine like viserys was so right when he sent sir otto away but he took him back. Don't take him back. Once you cut him off, don't take him back. The next shot is of Rhaenyra, the captain of the Kingsguard, and Christian Cole. So there are a lot of different house sigils here. We have like some Dornish houses. We have the Vale. We have House Tarly. Each house has like knights and things. I think this is some kind of audition for either the Kingsguard or being Rhaenyra's sworn shield. So we have more shots of Dragonstone and I really like this dark dreary looking drag. I love it. So the next shot is of Rhaenys and Corlys. So Rhaenys and Corlys support Rhaenyra 100%. She is their daughter-in-law and they're going to ride with her till the wheels fall off. Actually Rhaenys should technically be queen right now but the great council of 101 picked Viserys because he had a penis and that precedent is why no woman has sat the iron throne the next shot is a younger Damon wearing his king of the stepstones and narrow sea crown the crown that he surrenders at his brother's feet as he swears an oath of fealty so we have shots of Allison and Viserys getting you know, all lovey-dovey. And Rhaenyra and Christian Cole, again, getting lovey-dovey. But there's this quote. A woman will not inherit the Iron Throne because that's the order of things. See, this is why I like House of the Dragon for the prequel. Like, I like that they're doing it because it's not just... I feel like we're going to get a lot of Game of Thrones answers in this prequel. All the answers for everything you need to know always lie in the history. When we talk about House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra is going to parallel Danny so much. Danny is going to really have an uphill battle when she gets to Westeros in Winds of Winter. And Rhaenyra has that right now as well. They don't want her to be on the Iron Throne because she's a girl. And Rhaenyra says, when I am queen, I will create a new order, which 
very much parallels Danny breaking the wheel. You know, you can live in my new world or die in your old one. So we also have Damon on Caraxes warring in the Sept Zones against the Triarchy. That's going to be really, like, if you like Game of Thrones for, like, big battles and, like, crazy CGI, I feel like the war in the Sept Zones is going to be your jimmy jam so let's talk about the dragons the dragons the sarah's saying they are a power man should have never trifled with and i'm like as soon as he said it i'm like dreams more dreams more dreams but I digress. So we see them incubating dragon eggs. And there's a shot of Damon and Caraxes, the blood worm. And when I seen this shot, like at first I thought it was Rainey's and um, Maylee's because Maylee's is red too. But it's Damon and Caraxes. And y'all, full body chills. Like I feel like Caraxes is going to be a fan favorite for sure. And so is Damon. Anyway, so Rhaenyra, she's looking up at the sky and then this big ass dragon foot comes down and I'm like is she dreaming or is this real because that's like a I don't know it look just looks huge it just looks huge in comparison to the dragons that we've seen it doesn't look big enough for those dragons it doesn't look small enough for those dragons but I don't know we also have a shot of Rainier and Allison the more interesting shot is of Allison and the blonde that she's talking to I think this is probably Aegon the second I don't know why they not showing us Aegon the second like he's the major character anyway we get Cyrax we also like I'm sure that Cyrax and an older Rhaenyra but then we get a shot of Aemon Targaryen aka Aemon One-Eye the second son of Alicent and Viserys the Joffrey this is Rhaenyra's little brother and then we have one of my favorite little clips in the trailer and it's a young and old Rhaenyra and Alicent this looks just like the picture from Fire and Blood that last shot looks just like the picture right from the book Fire and Blood. I am loving the accuracy here. We have a shot of Corliss leading an army into the Sept Stones. Rainey's asking Allison if she ever imagined herself on the Iron Throne, which I thought was interesting. Like, why are you asking her that? Now, that dynamic is going to be interesting because we don't have any testimony of Mushroom on the relationship that Rainey's has with Queen Allison. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see how that's going to go. I feel like it's going to be T all over the place there is also like this really pregnant woman with Damon by a pyre and it could be Masaria like it could be Masaria because Masaria does get pregnant by Damon but I feel like she lost her baby pretty early maybe she didn't maybe she didn't but what if it was like Alicent because because it looks like Alicent to me maybe it's not either one of them maybe it's a dream and that's actually Drogo's funeral pyre I don't know I digress there is more Aemon there's like another shot of Aemon Aemon one eye is a very interesting character like he reminds me of a mix between like Joffrey and Jaime Lannister uh I don't know like mean Jamie before you know his like backstory maybe we're gonna get like some crazy backstory on egg on this uh, or Eamon one eye I don't know he's a villain he's a villain but I'm sure you'll probably love him I know like Ara stands Eamon one eye we also get a shot of Allison trying to stab Rhaenyra with the cat's ball dagger well not actually I don't think she's trying to stab Rhaenyra in the books Allison wants to take Rhaenyra's son's eye because Aemon, Alicent's son, was accidentally, his eye was accidentally taken out in a fight between Rhaenyra's children and Alicent's children. And Rhaenyra says, now they can see you as you really are. Because Alicent really is an ambitious, power-hungry cunt. Like, she really is. And I have no doubt that she was awful to Rhaenyra, and we're going to see it. Um, we also get another shot of another dragon it's the going out shot I first thought like okay it's Vagar like the eye color makes me think that it's Vagar but to me the dragon looks too small to be Vagar I, I think maybe it it's Sunfire but then I think Sunfire is gonna be more gold than that um it's Sunfire is the dragon of Aegon the second and why haven't they shown us Aegon the second like what's going on can we please see who is playing the usurper king to be honest the dragon could be Vagar. 
I don't know. Maybe it's the shot that makes the dragon look small and it's not actually small. I don't know, but I'm super, super excited. We've had so many pictures coming out. George has said how he's working with um, the show and how Ryan Condal really knows his world and his lore and really loves it and like is gonna try to stay true to it and from what this trailer looks like they're staying true to it uh, what do y'all think about the trailer give me your thoughts what did i miss i'm sure i missed something as always thanks for watching thanks to everyone that supports me on patreon if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please click that subscribe button hit that notification bell and join the sweet summer family okay my sweet summer children have a good day